things can happen. My, it's a Roosevelt room for a Republican Teddy and for a Democrat FDR. I uh, don't know whether I ever had an opportunity to tell any of you before, but behind me there on the mantel, the family of Theodore Roosevelt brought that in a few years ago and presented it for this room to the White House. That is the Nobel Prize that Teddy won for stopping the war between Russia and Japan. Uh, yeah. A little while ago in here, I had all the brand new congressmen, the freshmen that have just been elected, and uh, roughly half and half Democrat and Republican. And I knew I was opening myself up to something terrible when I told them that I thought I ought to, even though those Democratic ones might hold it against us sometime or use it against us, that I've always thought that Teddy won that Nobel Peace Prize solving that war in a typical Republican manner. <laughs> he was on a yacht. <laughs> I'm so proud of all you've done on this 100th birthday. As a matter of fact, I get encouraged anymore when I hear something's 100. <laughs> and also for, you know, this what you've been doing for, what the cause has been doing for a hundred years is so typical American, but now maybe it's going to spread to the rest of the world, and you had a big hand in that, too, in the recent uh, private enterprise meeting that was held in Paris. And it, this came from our European allies and friends. They wanted to hear about how we do it in America, and you were one of the big sponsors of, of that particular undertaking. Well, I better get this <coughs> signed now. Now, I think I'm the yes, sir. Yes. Yes. I have another pen here for something else I understand. Well, we've got us to do a little extra signing up uh, here. If, uh, <coughs> Save the top box. Oh. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> well, I know I'm going to have a chance to read each one of you individually now and uh, get a photo. So again, I want to thank all of you for all that you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's with your great leadership and support that we're able to do a lot that we do, and it's most appreciated. Picture and then we'll all have a group picture. Okay. okay. Oh, sure. Well, we can get Hello there. Can we have Kayla, one? who is that? Tell us. Can't you say hi? Hi, hey, Kevin. Kevin, are you the little girl I see at Camp David? You are. Yeah, Mommy, I told you. 
Why don't Here. you get out and get us there. There it is. Great. Greg, can you look at the camera, Greg? Is he looking, Pete? Yeah, why don't you move in a little bit there? Okay. Caitlin, Greg. that's it. Smile, Greggy. Greg, smile. Come on, Greg. Okay. Carol. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Why don't you so, jump in here and we'll do the whole group here real quick. All right. Okay. Come on over the this side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I got my switch. Yeah. 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 It looks like Caitlin's really weird. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, let me take care. Okay. Wait a minute. Is you that right? Now, I'm not picking on either okay. one of you, Greg, but one of these days, you're going to find that the kids can pick you up. I know, I'm <laughs> sure. Real soon, too. Caitlin, get, get in there. Can you smile? Yeah, that's great. Get the camera. Greggy? Not Greg? No, look right here, Greggy. <laughs> What does Mrs. Reagan always say? Belly button? Belly say, button. Say Greggy, that. Greggy. There we go. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Okay. She learned that. You know that very sober and serious actor, John Podiak? You know, he always seems so very austere and everything. She was doing a picture with him. There was a scene that called for it. They're kind of walking across the UCLA campus. And they're supposed to be laughing uproariously as they come within range of the cameras. Mm -hmm. That's some joke. Well, they just weren't getting it and weren't getting it. And finally, they started to take it again. And Nancy whispered to him as they started to walk. She said, say something funny. I've just run out of laughs. I can't laugh. And this very sober, above it all character, as they were approaching the camera, said, belly button. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think of this room, huh? What do you think? If only you knew. Yeah, if only you knew. Ms. President, they've been staying in our war, war torn house. You know, we just moved and we've got boxes and things all over the place, but we found a little hole for them to, to live in. Yeah, it is a great house. Yeah, it is a nice I just tried to advise him. I told him <laughs> when we moved into our new house in California, I managed to be busy filming it. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. 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 I think this is the first move he's made with me. That's right, because we moved once before and I was on a trip somewhere. You had to deal without me. But this one was much more difficult than that one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but thank you very much. Thank you very much. Can you say goodbye? Goodbye. 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 Thank you. Can you say goodbye to the boss? Can you shake hands right now? Goodbye. Say see you, Camp David. You just can you say see you, Camp David? Well then I'll see you at Camp David. There you go. <laughs> She's got a little bit of a cold when you give them that fire medic to dry them up, oh. they get a little down and out. Mm -hmm. She's not she's on her right. today. Thank you very All much. Right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to introduce Mr. Kevin Elliott. I'm Kevin Elliott. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Mr. President, Dean Harder from Minnesota. It's a pleasure. Thank Good you. Good to see you. Good to have you. Thank you. Mr. President, John Ball from Minnesota. Nice to see you. Jamie Theory from Alabama, sir. Thank you. Nice to see you. Well, sir, Darren Coppock. Thank you. God bless you. Thank 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 you. We're beginning to feel a little bit like that. <laughs> 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 that Thank you, sir. I did a lot of it. I learned a few of the trips there in the traveling when I used to go out on the National Tape Circuit. <laughs> You were like gonna be busy in the day and then you had an evening affair and so forth. Always have a schedule so you could yeah, 
you know, change your clothes between the ends. Right. And most important of all was have a fresh pair of shoes to put on. Warm the others all day. Well, listen, I have a few things. Wow. Souvenirs of the visit. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. It's an honor. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Seems to be a rich <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Great pleasure to see you all. Mr. President. I guess we certainly look to you with great leadership. We, we think you're a person of great character and integrity. Hopefully, uh, you can serve as our role model through this year as we go out in this country and try to uh, motivate the values in the young people uh, so they can be useful citizens in our democracy. We thank you so much for letting us come in here today. Thank you, sir. You mean very much to, you mean to this country, sir. Yes, sir. The biggest youth organization in the United States. Thank you. 400 and some thousand, isn't it? Oh you have an excellent memory, <laughs> sir. <laughs> very good. Very good. I do appreciate all that you're doing. We believe, we believe in you, sir. We believe in you. Doubly here. Doubly here. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're our hero. Thanks, sir. Thank you. God bless you, Mr. President. Thank you. You've done a very good work. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Bring in this trophy. Oh, okay. down the oh, to our oh, oh, okay. 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 Can we just right. tighten it up uh, real close? Uh, see, uh, gentlemen, a key ring and 
and uh, no, over here. here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we've got a bookmark for you and yes. a key ring over you. here. Yes. Thank you. And a key ring. Okay, who would love that? Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Mister. We missed the briefing. Missed. Uh, we didn't okay. know that there were. You're right back. <laughs> you, know, the married, but <laughs> you were all listed as just sisters. <laughs> well, we'll take care of that. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Off to the off to the Fiesta Bowl. What day is that? Is that me? No, it's January second. Second, second yeah. January. Yeah. Yeah. The only game on that night. Right. I'm trying to build it. Call some the there. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. The national championship. Uh, yeah. 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 Two undefeated. Two undefeated. Yeah. Two undefeated. Yeah. 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 I had a different football experience than that. I went to a little college in Illinois where we played way over our head. I mean, it's the size on the schools we played. So if we broke even, it was a tremendously yeah, yeah. successful season. And I remember a little less, a little group of us went to the coach one day and we were kind of tired of getting beat. And uh, we said, you know, can we have a schedule that gave us a better chance? He said, yes. He said, I could, I could probably schedule right now. We probably win every game. But he said, would you rather do that than be able to say when it's all through, down through the years that you played against him and he would name the teams. I played opposite a fellow that, in the line and, that uh, wound up eight years all pro in the National Pro League. Hmm. I weighed me 100 pounds. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we thought it over, and the years have gone, and he's absolutely right. Uh, even the games we lost, you, you're kind of proud that you were on there and playing. So it's been carrying you around ever since. Yes. said what they've done. They've done a lot of research on birds, why the eagles don't need sunglasses. Oh. <laughs> and they have found out there would be some factors that take out certain elements of light and like reflection off bright surfaces and so forth. And uh, this is supposed to be our, uh, these came by way of our medical shop over there. And they were just, I said, you know, I don't want to leave them with that. <laughs> they are. Anyone want to? I want to try and see how pretty the world can be. He brightens everything up a little bit. It bothers him whatsoever, but he does make mistakes. And they go to about a football game. The fellow at the ground end breaks into the clearance going down the sideline in the clear for a touchdown. But he has the wrong man carrying the ball. And of course, when that fellow crosses the goal line, why, everybody's going to know that he gave the touchdown to the wrong man. And one of his assistants was pointing to the name in front of him, the number of times he had the ball. <laughs> Didn't phase him a bit. Because he's gotten to the 35 yard line, he laterals off. No, I said this was radio, not television. Oh, this was radio. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I used to produce the Redskins Radio Network.
Ten seconds, mic's on. My fellow Americans, with the new year just a few weeks away, Washington is starting to get ready for the 100th Congress, which will be sworn in this January. A most important challenge facing that Congress will be joining with us in keeping a growing America on the road to a brighter future, the road that you and I and all Americans started on just six years ago. That was when we said that the way to make America grow was not by feeding government more of your tax dollars, but by the way that America has always grown, through the ingenuity, energy, and determination of the American people. Together, we set out to cut your taxes and cut the growth of government spending so that you could get on with the important work of building a better future for yourself, your family, and all America. We first cut tax rates with our 1981 tax cut. Since the lower tax rates in that bill took effect, America has created over 12 million new jobs. We've had 48 straight months of economic growth and one of the longest periods of uninterrupted growth in the last 50 years. And after a decade-long decline, the American family's real income has been rising again and rising faster. Yes, thanks to our first tax cut, there are more and better jobs, more new businesses, and more new opportunities in America today than ever before in our history. But that's just the beginning, because earlier this year, with your help, Congress pushed aside the special interests and the tax and spend crowd rolled up its sleeves and shaped the tools that will help you and all Americans build on that record. That's when Congress passed the new tax reform bill, which will cut the top tax rate from 50% to 28%, and for 8 out of 10 Americans will mean a top rate of no more than 15%. For the four years since our first tax cut found its footing, the American economy has been climbing to the mountaintop. With tax reform, America is going to shoot for the stars. That's why I was disappointed this week to hear some talk from the new Congress that we should stop the climb, turn around, and start back in the direction we've come from. Even before they take their oath of office, some in the new Congress are talking about breaking faith with the American people and taking back part of tax reform before it has taken effect. Yes, they say that to reduce the deficit, they want to keep some people's tax rates high. Well, we know where that road leads. First, they take one step toward raising taxes, and then another, and then another, and pretty soon, every family in America is paying more to the government again, and we're back to the days of high taxes and no economic growth. Well, you can be sure I'm not going to let that happen. I hope that instead of trying to return to the tax and spend policies of the past, the new Congress will work with us in getting the growth of federal spending under control. We've begun to make progress here, too, the figures are coming in now for the spending the government is actually doing this year, and the news is good. When this year is ended, the deficit will be down by $50 billion. Yes, this year, for the first time in two decades, the federal government will spend less after taking out inflation than it did last year. That's an historic step on the road to a balanced budget, and it couldn't have happened without the Graham-Rudman legislation. Now it's time to take a second step. On January 5th, we will send next year's budget up to Capitol Hill. It'll be the federal government's first trillion-dollar budget request. It will be lean enough to meet the Graham-Rudman deficit targets, but it will also meet the government's commitments. We will be spending more than ever before in such areas as support for America's elderly, law and drug enforcement to protect America's young people, and health care for America's finest for our veterans. And yet in the coming budget, after taking out inflation, the federal government will spend less in the coming year than it will this year. That will be two years of real falling spending. We in the administration have worked hard to meet the new earlier deadline for sending this budget to Congress. I hope Congress will work just as hard to meet its required deadlines and not let them slip by, as has happened too many times in the past. And I hope the new Congress will take a constructive approach to this firm but fair budget. We're bound to disagree here and there, but let's work together for the good of the country to iron out our differences. The leadership of the outgoing 99th Congress gave America lower tax rates and began the process of putting the lid on spending. As we look to the new year, this is the challenge for the leadership of the incoming 100th Congress, to build on that record 
and help lead America into the future. I hope they'll accept that challenge. Until next week, thanks for listening, and God bless you. Good. Gave you that. <laughs> yeah, I think we had to stretch a little there at the end. <laughs>